Russian warship, go F yourself. Just two days ago, the Russian military released this propaganda video of the same ship firing missiles off the coast of Ukraine. This is or was the Moskva. Russia suffered a blow today in its war with Ukraine when the flagship of its naval fleet in the Black Sea exploded and sank. Russia's flagship. It was leading Russia's naval assault against Ukraine, and now, now it's at the bottom of the Black Sea. Ukraine said it hit the ship with missiles. The Russians said the fire was accidental. A fire broke out, and the Moskva sank in a storm while they were towing it into a port. The guided missile cruiser Moskva had 500 sailors on board. And it's basically designed for air defense. That's, uh, that, that's what this ship is designed to do, not unlike our own cruisers. Uh, so it's going to have an impact on their capabilities, certainly in the near term. Whether it has an impact on their naval capabilities in the long term is just, uh, uh, just unclear uh, right now. Still, it is undeniable that the sinking of the Russian ship to Moscow is a huge victory for Ukraine symbolically and perhaps even more. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. It was just a few days ago when Ukraine commemorated the defiance of their soldiers with this postage stamp. It shows a border guard on that island in the Black Sea literally giving the middle finger to the Russian ship, the Moskva. So the news that this ship has sunk is a huge boost to Ukraine and a major humiliation to Vladimir Putin's Russia. Consider this. Since the war began in late February, U.S. analysts estimate that Ukraine has destroyed around 5,000 pieces of Russian military equipment. The Moskva was the most expensive, costing around $750 million. And that's just the financial toll of Russia's naval flagship. A Russian politician in exile claims that only 58 of the 510 crew members on board the ship have been accounted for. That raises the prospect that 452 men went down with the ship and died. If true, it would be the single worst Russian military loss of life in decades. Again, Russia claims that all the Moscow sailors were successfully evacuated, but photos taken in the Russian port of Sevastopol reportedly shows dozens of cars belonging to the sailors still parked there, suggesting the owners had not returned to collect them. Meanwhile, there are indications that Russian Admiral Igor Osipov, commander of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, which the Moscow led, has been arrested. And a Russian-Israeli businessman named Leonid Nevzlin, who fled Russia years ago after being targeted by Vladimir Putin, says that 20 Russian generals have been arrested over Russia's failings in Ukraine. The businessman also says 150 officers in the FSB, Russia's intelligence agency, have been detained for providing false information about Ukraine defenses. And then there's this. Ukrainian newspaper Defense Express is warning that the Moskva could have been carrying two nuclear warheads designed to be fitted on the ship's P-1000 tactical cruise missiles. If that's true, the loss of the warheads in the Black Sea would be even more embarrassing to Russia. But never mind loose nukes, the sinking alone of the Moskva is a big deal. After the Moskva was told at the beginning of the war, Russia ship, go F yourself. Well, now it's happened.